and allowing uh, and in opening up our fairgrounds uh, for outside communities uh, and cities to come in, to, in and to bring their homeless to, to Stockton is 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 not okay. It's not it's not acceptable. Stephen Bohork is here with SNJ Associates, and today is election day. It, it, the moment of truth has arrived. We're here, and today I'm here with Kevin Lincoln. Kevin, welcome to the show. Thank you, Stephen. Always a pleasure. Yes, Thank sir. you very much for doing this. Really appreciate that. I know you're busy. <laughs> I know you've got things to do, places to go. But again, this is election day. Absolutely. And um, I got really. Uh, three questions for me. Three questions of how do you feel right now on election day? How do you feel? You know what, Stephen? I feel really good. I feel I feel at peace. What's amazing is you, it's funny you asked that question because two nights ago I was just having a conversation with my wife and she asked me the same question. She said, "How are you doing? Uh, how do you feel? Are you are you doing okay?" And I told her, I said, I said, you know, babe, I feel at peace. I feel I feel really, really good. But there's one thing that I know is that's for certain right now is that one season is coming to an end, and that is this camp, this past year of campaigning is coming to an end. You know, for me, and I know that there's going to be a new season season coming out of of this evening, and I'm looking forward to that, and I'm excited about that. But there's one thing that's for sure, and that is. Regardless of what the outcome is tonight on election night, over this past year, my love for this city has just gotten even deeper. And my commitment to this city will not change or waver regardless of what the results are. Okay. Stockton is a very beautiful city with some very incredible, hardworking uh, individuals that genuinely love their city and they're passionate about their city and want to see change. And we've done, our team has worked really hard over this last year. Mm -hmm. We've done everything that was within our power uh, to do to win this election. And that's why I feel at peace, because when I say that I'm all in for Stockton, I really was, I really am all in for Stockton. All my chips are, are on the table right. at this point. So it's up to the voters. It's yes. up to the yes, people. <laughs> if they want change, then they will get change by exercising their constitutional right this afternoon, when the, by, by the time the polls close, and, uh, and voting for change. Either way, I love the city and I'm committed to the city. Outstanding, sir, outstanding. I feel the same way as far as the city of Stockton. Right? I love the city's home. This is where I live, and this is where my family's at, where my, my, all my, my tribal members are at. So, uh, bravo Zulu, sir. Bravo Zulu. Um, my second question to you. Recently, people have been concerned about the situation with the, the homeless situation, the people from the Bay Area, the homeless people from the Bay Area being transferred to the county fairgrounds. Where do you stand on that? Where, where are you on that issue? Homelessness is the number one issue in our community, in Stockton, in San Joaquin County, in the state of California. Right. It, is, it is the number one issue, and even a growing national uh, pandemic as well, situation as well. We absolutely have to do everything we can to address the homeless crisis that we find ourselves in. Right. We need to provide a place for those who are unsheltered to go to, to get those centralized wraparound type services so that they can get directed to the other resources that they need, whether it's a sober living environment, a, uh, uh, some sort of transitional housing, maybe more supportive permanent housing. And we need to continue to build those types of housing as well. But we have to be very, careful and we have to make sure that we do not yet take away another staple 
venue in our city, in our community, that has the potential to, and that brings families together. Okay. We've lost a lot of those resources in our community for families and for young people. One of the staple things that happens every year is the, the county fair. Right. Okay. Right. And so 2019, that was a good year for the county fair. So we need to build upon that. So we need to explore other options to house our homeless community within the homeless population within our community. Exactly. In stock. At the same time, we also need to make sure that the plan that we implement to address the homeless crisis that that works and has proven to work, that other neighboring cities, especially within our county, are implementing and we're 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 working together so that our homeless problems do not come our neighboring cities homeless problems as well so multiple municipalities have to work together we have to work collaboratively to address this homeless crisis that we find ourselves in and allowing uh and in opening up our fairgrounds uh for outside communities uh, and cities to come in to in, and to bring their homeless to, to stockton is 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 not okay it's not it's not acceptable we need to work with those other communities and those other cities so that they could benchmark and they can implement a plan that works for their community right in their community. in their community yeah i agree but we can't be afraid to share resources <laughs> and information sure. as well kevin i got my last question for you what, are, what is the last thing you want to say on election, election day, this election day? Any final words you want to say to the people of Stock? What is it that you want to say? I just want to say that this last year of campaigning for me has, from the very beginning, it's always been about the people of Stockton. It's always been about doing everything that I possibly can to listen to the needs of the people, to learn from the people, so that when the time comes, I can effectively lead the people. And that is where we're at right now in this moment, where we're just counting down hours mm -hmm. before polls close on this election day. Stockton, the power to bring about change in our community, it is literally in your hands right now. And I'll say, I'll close and end this with what I said at the very beginning, is that regardless of what the outcome is this evening on election night, my commitment to the people of Stockton uh, has not wavered and it won't change. I love this city. This city has been good to my family for multiple generations. And I look forward to the privilege and the honor to serve this city and give this city all that I have for the next eight years as the next mayor of Stockton. Kevin Lincoln, thank you very much for doing this interview. Appreciate it. And good luck to you tonight. Look forward to seeing you again, sir. Thank you. Thank you. This is Stephen Bohorkis with SJ Associates saying thanks for watching. Christina Fugazi, Council Member District 5, and you are watching SJ Associates.